Greetings. We are starting with a tutorial how to make a Godot mobile video game. In first lecture, we are talking about some initial settings. Usual resolution for uh, mobile games in Godot is uh, 1280 and uh, 720. But uh, you can uh, create any resolution in this aspect uh, using project menu, project settings, and in display window, you can set a viewport width and viewport height. Uh, we are using um, this uh, ratio, and uh, we create uh, some simple um, width 180, height 320. This is first thing, so width and height. Uh, second good thing to initially set is uh, orientation. So orientation can be landscape or a portrait orientation. If you set it as a portrait orientation, uh, this will be uh, normal with this visibility. But uh, one of suggestion is to set this orientation using uh, quality, width, and height. We'll explain this later. So uh, orientation will be left in as a landscape. You uh, can change this data later, but my suggestion is to do it. Uh, right when you start setting um, your project. So with height and orientation. You will see your uh, game space uh, defined with this line, as you see here. This is your game space showed in your 2D uh, design window. So if you start a game, you will see something like this if your project window is uh, set up like this. A second thing is to set your renderer. This can be done when you uh, setting your project or later you can set uh, this mobile option here. This is a little bit lower quality graphics but good for uh, for mobile uh, setting. These two things are important. After that, you can make your video game. A suggestion for mobile video games uh, is uh, not to use um, so quality graphics in your beginner's project, so make something in, uh, as a 2D project. We can create something simple here. We will use character body with uh, default movement, left, right, and jumping. And we will create uh, one um, coding uh, to spawn uh, rigid bodies. So this uh, we have one rigid body here with some uh, default values. I will uh, reset it. And this rigid body uh, will not be visible in a screen. So like this. And then we can um, create some kind of uh, spawner in a timely manner to create a video game. Also, we will add the background user color rectangular. If you would want to know more about uh, this uh, pre-settings, you can watch our tutorial called uh, Making 2D Video Game. And you will uh, see uh, all of this uh, better explained, so detailed explained, with a detailed explanation. And uh, we will try to create one um, spawner with a, ta a timely manner. Uh, for this, it will be good to um, use a timer node. So timer node. Just write timer in a search box and you will get this timer node created. So we have this kind of timer node. And now properties. Wait time will be time um, iteration time. 
we can uh, set it uh, initially for a two seconds one shot no auto start can be okay and uh, uh, one of important thing is to create a time out time out a signal time out a signal which will use this wait time um, value so click once on time out connect to our root node this is our root node here uh, so to the video game scene connect and we will get this function our root node is 2d node with the script attached and uh, in this timer we will first um, do something like this we will um, say get node and we will try to find a node with rigid body so rigid body 2d i find it select it so get this node and then duplicate duplicate this node so get and duplicate this will be the first setting then we will uh, uh, but uh, first thing we need to make it visible so get this node and set it visible so visible. it will be true visible true we need to check if this is okay so i will go here three seconds some things go so this is um uh, in a timeout uh, we get only one node but um, i'm thinking to make it like this so a rigid body initially is here we have timeout and uh, on a, on every timeout uh, idea is to on every timeout we create another another node uh, for this we create this timeout we will write something like this time out so this is one timeout now this can go to a uh, comment or uh, not comment unused unused code line unused code line code line and uh, we have only one duplication of this node and three timeout. Uh, second idea can be to instantiate this object. So this will be done a little bit differently. I think how to duplicate it. Uh, duplicate it. And this duplication to add to a scene, this can be solution. So let's do it like this. We will create one variable. This variable will be new game object, for example, uh, or new node, doesn't matter. And this new node will be this node. Then we can use this variable new node and uh, we can add it add as a child to a game scene so this is some kind of uh, coding for a duplication when you duplicate it like this here you only need to click once on duplicate and you will get another but with a coding we will try to do it like this so let's see first time out second time out third time out fourth time out so this is working uh only thing we need to do is a position so uh position can be always the same so let's see what is position of this rigid body initial position of this rigid body is 29 29 interesting 
So uh, let me uh, let me explain how we'll do it. So this will be new node. This new node will have a position. So position and this position will be vector two position because we are in a in two D game space, and we will write it something like this. So twenty two twenty two. Uh, let's test this one, two, three. Uh, this is my idea to create some kind of spawner, as you see here. This this is idea. Uh, second good thing, uh, we can uh, make some change here. So we will use rotation. E is a mode for rotation. So press on E. You can also set a rotation here. Uh, you, you you will be more precise to you inspector window and set rotation here, for example, 90. You don't need to be expert in rotating. And uh, we will add one more thing. So this will be our game objects here, as you see. This will be game objects. And uh, we will add uh, one option to the static body. So we are creating some kind of simple game. Static body will get some constant linear velocity here. Let's try with a 10. Maybe this will be good. Timer can be three seconds. This is wait time property for a timer, as you see here. And let's see what we get. So our object is moving and the object here are also moving, as you see here. So we can we can do some things about it. Uh, another idea is to see uh, what other thing we can do. So rigid body, rigid body, velocity zero zero, it's okay. Angular velocity, okay. Constant force, okay. So everything about rigid body is okay. Static body influence uh, is only here. So I think everything is okay for now. So we are using always the same position for uh, for instantiation, and this can be uh, this can be some start for a video game, as you see here. But I think our rigid body are moving a little bit, uh, as you see here. This is not bad, but uh, we can change this. So as you see, we create some kind of, uh, of a moving palette or a track or whatever. And we can make some jumps over it. And make a little of creative chaos. So this will be all in this uh, lesson. We will continue in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.